Good morning, Chin Panthers. Today is Wednesday, April 7th, and it's an, a D day. I hope you're ready for a great day of learning. I am Belle from Miss Gaza's class, and here are your morning announcements. Before we get started this morning, let's check in with Mr. H and Dr. Hargis for a quick NWEA update. Good morning, Panthers. I hope you're ready for a wonderful Wednesday. I'm here with Dr. Hargis because today is NWA testing. I'm so proud. Yes, super, super proud about that because here's where we get to find out how much you've grown over these last couple months. And so with that, we have a building goal for NWA. Dr. Hargis, tell me about a building goal. What does that mean? So a building goal is we're looking at everybody, kindergarten through fifth grade, and we're determining how many students achieve their growth goal for the, for the year. So is the number 54% of our kids are going to achieve this? Is that our growth goal? That is both math and reading, 54%. So that's kindergarten all the way through fifth grade, correct? It is, yes. So really what the kids need to do is do their very best. Is that right? 100%. We need as many kids to hit their growth goal as we get everybody. Wouldn't that just be fantastic? Oh my goodness. I would retire. I'd be done. <laughs> but if we can meet our growth goal, what's going to happen for our building? So the students that are in the building, we're going to be in a dunk tank. Hold on. Time out. Did you just say a dunk tank? A dunk tank. Like, I'm going to get in there and then fall down and get wet when they throw the ball? That because can... every single student, if we hit our growth goal, either in math or reading, will get a chance to knock you or I in a dunk tank. Dr. Harris, why am I just hearing about this now? Uh, because it was a surprise. Oh, well, I'm surprised. Hopefully you're surprised. So, boys and girls, we meet our growth goal for our in-person students. We get to go we get to be in a dunk tank and you get a chance to uh, hit us and knock us down. What about our online learners? Because they're very important to us as well. They are. So what we're going to do is that if our building, uh, everybody online and in person hits our goal, our 54% in either math or reading, we're going to have lunch with the classroom teacher, us two, and the whole class for online one class at a time. And we're going to do what's called an AMA. It's an ask me anything. So anything that the kids want to know about us, about the teacher that you know kind of falls in within some some reasonable bounds but uh, we'll just hang out with them and spend spend some good times with them so like for example i say don Hurst, why are you wearing miss gardner's mask that would be a good question to ask mm. for our online learners It'd be a great question boys and girls here's what's going to happen you are going to work hard today you're going to do your best not only today but for the rest of our nwa sessions because we want to see how much you've grown we want to also celebrate the great great things that you're going to do for our nwa test so i know that you're going to work hard with that, don't forget Panther Basics. Our whole building is going to be testing, so make sure we're showing Panther Basics all the way through our building each and every day for the rest of this week. And remember, it's a great day to be a Panther. As we get closer to the end of the week, please don't forget that this Friday, April 9th, is a district-wide AMI day. We may be learning from home, but that doesn't mean that we can't work hard, do our best, and show our pride while we do so. Let's put our best foot forward on Friday and we'll re reconvene for a true full fourth quarter week of school next Monday. Our school-wide focus for the month of April is on showing pride in the hallways and during lunch. As always, the winners will be announced during our pride assembly at the end of the month. Make sure to show your positivity, respect, ability to remain in control and determination at each day this month so that we can graduate your class at the end of the April. The Votarian Panthers, the winner of March Book Madness, has been chosen. Which book do you think won? Place your final bets quickly. The winner of, Mar of the 2021 March Book Madness is, drum roll please, Pacho Nacho. Thank you for participating in this year's March Book Madness, Panthers. We're always glad to show our passion for reading, learning, and growing. Keep on reading, everybody. Now let's take it to Gemma with the weather. Thanks, Belle. The forecast date isn't the prettiest forecast we've ever announced here on Gym TV, Panthers. There's a high of 64 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. As you may have noticed already, there's been some precipitation today. There will be more precipitation throughout the day as well. There's up to an 80% of chance of wind from now until about 2 o'clock this afternoon.
But if the forecast remains accurate, the wind should cease up about the time and dry up a little, just a bit by just in time for afternoon dismissal. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that our local meteorologists are correct. We need as little precipitation as, poss as we can possibly get since there's going to be some showers tomorrow too. There will be winds over 10 miles per hour today, but if we're inside this morning, we won't have to deal with it too much. The sun may peak out a little this afternoon for a few hours, but it's expected of the most of the day to remain cloudy, cloudy with some dark overcast until this afternoon. I know this isn't the most beautiful weather, but if we can make it through today and tomorrow, we should be rewarded with the beautiful Friday forecast and our first week of fourth quarter. Let's look forward to that. Good luck and work hard on testing today, Panthers. Back to you, Belle. Thanks, Gemma. The lunch choice for today is chicken tenders and a hot roll with mashed potatoes and gravy, cherry tomatoes with ranch, and fresh pineapple as our side options. We've got one student birthday to celebrate today and one staff birthday to celebrate as well. Happy birthday today to Jacob Mullen. Happy birthday, Jacob. We also want to wish a special birthday to one of our fifth grade teachers, Miss Benson. If you've got an extra Reese's peanut butter cup, be sure to stop by Mrs. Benson's room and drop it off on her desk. Happy birthday, Panthers. Don't party too hard. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing for the Pride Pledge. P-R-I-D-E, P-R-I-D-E. I have pride in you, I have pride in me. Be positive, respectful, in control, and determined. Every day, every minute of every day, I'm ready. Don't forget to work hard, do your best, and stay classy, Chim Panthers.